Mr. Kawa. So you have applied as for the researcher position here at the Southern Regional Research Center. Can you please give us a brief introduction about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is George Washington Carver, not to be mistaken with US President, of course. I am a agricultural scientist currently working at Tuskegee Institute. I was born a black slave in Diamond County, Missouri, and was later freed after the Civil War ended. I studied botany from Iowa State University and uh, was later employed there as well. I was the first black faculty member at the Institute. I was later offered to join Tuskegee Institute as the founder of the Agricultural Department by Mr. Booker, Booker T. Washington, which I accepted and I later even founded Carver Research Foundation at Tuskegee. Yes. Please tell us about your work. What does your research focus on? I have been involved in two main fields of research. My research around agricultural practices and my research around peanut and sweet potato products. Um, my research around agricultural practices has led to the introduction of uh, crop rotation and composting in the farms of the black farmers uh, in Southern America. My research has always had a uh, a very practical approach and I have been introducing um, more and more efficient uh, farming techniques to the farmers. Um, my, my focus ha was to develop um, cash crops for the farmers for their economic development um, and through crop rotation we have reduced the uh, dependence on cotton as a cash crop and the introduction of uh, crop rotation has also introduced peanut farming and cash uh, and sweet potato farming through which um, soil depletion in the area has also greatly reduced um, to further encourage farmers to um, to grow peanuts and sweet potatoes i i researched from 1915 to 1923 on various um, products um, derived from peanuts and sweet potatoes, around 300 in fact, um, which, which encouraged farmers to grow more peanut and uh, sweet potato and eventually even led to an economic revolution in the South. Um, another one of my important contributions for the development of black farmers in the South was the introduction of a mobile classroom called the Jessup Wagon, um, through which we educated farmers all over uh, Tuskegee. Um, can you please explain how your work is relevant and important and how does it uh, help in our understanding of our, the world or how does it advance our understanding of the world? The aim of my research at Tuskegee Institute uh, was to bring economic betterment for the black farmers in the Southern America. Um, and my introduction of crop rotation and composting have clearly achieved that. Furthermore, uh, the introduction of peanut farming and sweet potato farming was also a, a game changer for many farmers. My research has always uh, been focused on the betterment of people um, because I firmly believe that research and understanding opens up new avenues for you and um, makes you understand a lot about the world that you had not known before. You mentioned before that it was Mr. Booker T. Washington who invited you at Tuskegee Institute uh, as a teacher. What uh, is your opinion on Booker T. Washington's work? Mr. Booker T. Washington is a great man. I am very much indebted to him for calling upon me to be the founder of the Agricultural Department at Tuskegee Institute. Um, it is no secret, however, that Mr. Washington and I have had differences regarding managing my work 
and he had some ideas about which crops we should be growing which i didn't necessarily agree with but um despite all that he is close to my heart he and i share the same vision of uplifting our uh, black uh, fellow black brethren and he understands that it is through education and refining our economic uh, practices that that we can achieve that um mr washington's efforts should never be sidelined and i am very much indebted to him for all he has done for me as well as my fellow black americans you mentioned before that you have invented around 300 products from peanut butter um sweet potatoes and other crops but there is some controversy regarding the originality of some of those products uh, would you care to comment on that i never documented or compiled any of my work that was done later and not by me i never claimed that i invented all of those products and i was merely collecting or making a list of all the products that could be made from peanuts and sweet potatoes to encourage farmers to um grow them a crop which is better for the soil and is more fruitful than cotton some of the uses i came up with were hardly original and i'm not taking credit for it but i think i helped quite a lot of people uh by popularizing the use of peanuts peanut products and in turn i empowered them as well the that is really what my goal has always been to make life easier and better for my people i have always tried to do that to the best of my ability mr kawa we heard that you turned down a job offer from mr thomas edison in favor of working at tuskegee uh, may we know why did you do so and what made you apply for one year ah yes i i did reject his offer as i thought i was needed more at tuskegee um, the farmers needed my help and training to improve their economic status and so i stayed as for na- why i am applying here now um i think i've done enough at tuskegee now um as i mentioned before i founded the um carver research foundation where newer and younger people are being trained and are even involved in research so i think i've done enough at tuskegee and it's time to move on um so i'm applying here um furthermore um as i mentioned before uh, that mr uh, washington and i don't exactly see eye to eye and so funding is a little hard as well um so i'm looking for another job where my work is needed as well as where um i have more prospects for funding thank you mr kawa that will be all for today we will be uh, informing you about our decision very soon thank you for your time Hello is this Mr Booker T Washington? Yes, how may I help you? I'm speaking from the uh, Southern Regional Research Center. Mr Carver has applied for a researcher's position here. Um and he wanted to ask you a little about him if you don't mind. Sure, what would you like to know? We would like to know how was your experience working with him? out a very dedicated worker when i first uh, referred when i was first referred to administer tuskegee institute at the time of its inception i myself invited him to the institute um over the years he and i have had some ideological differences with regards to the management of the institute but i cannot deny all the work that he has done for the economic development 
of the black community in the South. Um, however, I must add that Carver does not have the ability, um, I, in my opinion, Carver does not have the ability to manage and administer large departments, um, which is why we never approved funding for his laboratory. As passionate as Carver is about his research, he is perhaps not at his best when it comes to the technicalities of uh, teaching. His students admire him greatly. He is uh, an inspiration to all of them, but there have been problems with structure and grading and such. Um, regardless, Carver has a wealth of knowledge and passion that I think everyone can learn from. I hope that uh, my assessment helps you with your decision. Thank you, Mr. Washington. Your insights were very helpful. Hello, is this Mr. George Washington Carver? Oh, okay. Um, thank you for letting me know. Um, thank you for your time. Mr. Carver, you recently gave us an interview as the researcher's position at the Southern Regional Research Center. Um, as much as we were, we liked your spirit regarding practical research work and we're very much impressed by your work revolutionizing the economy of Southern America. Uh, you did not make the cut. Actually, there's not enough documentation of the said work and that has swayed us away from hiring you. Yes, yes this is. 